hey guys welcome back to the vlog channel so <laughs> last vlog i um mentioned that sam was sick and he is not here now he is at work and i am sick so um yesterday i want to say like i woke up yesterday morning and i was like hey how do you feel and i sat up in bed and i put my hand on my throat and i was like I'm gonna kill you and I knew that I had it yesterday so I came home I prepped um, like I brought all my work stuff home so I told them I was taking today off I'm still gonna try and get some stuff done um, I just have like a few presentations I need to finish up and a few install drawings um, and then I'm gonna sleep for the rest of the day <laughs> but I feel like absolute crap like I have not felt this bad in so long. Like it's probably been years. I'm thinking today at some point I'm going to try and film an IGTV maybe or like a video for Facebook um, on how I curl my hair. I did it the other day for IGTV actually. And I'm thinking I'm going to use my wand, but I'm not quite sure. Um, oh my god, I feel like... Okay, so I'm going to do, um, for dinner, I just asked Sam, he was like, ooh, yeah, that sounds good. We're going to do chicken breasts cooked in the oven, and then I'm going to do white rice and broccoli in the Instant Pot, because that's just like the quickest way. But I have not ever done the broccoli and rice just like by themselves, so that'll be my first time. Rising grains and veggies. Um, I linked in my, I did an Amazon video on my main channel. It went up Tuesday. Um, and I shared an Instant Pot set. I'll link that same set below. But it does come with these little things in it, which is great. It shares like how long you should cook stuff in your Instant Pot, if you don't know. So, um, white rice, one minute. Um, and then it's one cup of water and then broccoli is one to two minutes so, okay. all right I just totally through that so I gotta make the chicken first Okay, so this is what I've got. I used a new recipe. I'll be interested to see. It smells really good. Um, but I'm going to cook these for about 22 minutes. And I'm going to get started on this because it takes about like 10-ish or so to build pressure. And then it'll take just like one to actually cook. So that's what we're doing. Okay, perfectly cooked. I measured it 
Um, we can do it again. Did you? I'm just wondering. Yeah, I did. I use that one. That's the one your mom got us. Oh, it's Christmas. super easy. You literally just. You're touching the glass. I pulled it back a little bit. Doesn't it say what it's supposed to be on the back too? Doesn't it have the chart. It's perfect. And then. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Ah! All right. What'd you think? Okay. Okay. So the. The chicken was different. Yeah, the like. chicken we were, hold on, not the biggest fan of. Um, it was like too sweet. It, it, I've never put brown sugar. You know how like brown sugar like caramelizes or whatever? Yes, that's exactly what it was. Yeah. So it just was like real sweet on top. Yeah, I mean it was really good. Like everything, I feel like had I left that off, I don't know, this is what I get when I try to be creative, but had I left that off, I think it would have been like awesome. It was good still. What, what were you looking for the cayenne pepper for? Was it for the chicken or for this? The chicken. And then this, y'all. It would have been really good with cayenne pepper. So good. We don't have any cayenne pepper. We need to add that to the I'm list. Saying it would have been really good. But this was so good. It was so easy. It took like five minutes in the Instant Pot, and then I just added in cheese and broccoli last minute, and he loves it. So. With hot black tea. What? With hot black tea. Usually he drinks milk. Sam eats pizza and drinks milk. Like he, that's his, that's his meal. He'll eat pizza with milk. It's very odd. Um, so I gotta go edit a video. I don't know if you have, you don't have anything interesting happening tonight, do you? Lord, I hope not. <laughs> it's been a long week and it's only Wednesday. I probably am not going back to work tomorrow, by the way. Okay. Like I thought I was going to. I think I'm going to do another day at home. That's what I, so I, I just asked can't. today at lunch. We were, I'm just wanting to make sure like there's nothing else. And they're like, yeah, why? I was like, because it's only one and I feel mm -hmm. like drained. I'm like, yeah. it, it's it's harder for me to work than I real, than I thought it would be. Yeah. Today was tough. And uh, they, they were just like, no, 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 this is it. <sighs> My they were, uncle. They were um, pretty nice too. They kept me inside most of the day. My uncle, he left. I found out this morning he had the flu, so he got the flu shot. Okay, him and MC both got the flu shot. Oh. She got the flu a few weeks ago. I don't know the time frame between getting the flu shot and getting the flu, but they picked the wrong strain again. Go figure. So the flu shot's basically worthless. Did it, was it that, or did they get the flu? Because you can get the flu from the shot. You can get the it's flu like from the shot. No, no, no. I don't, I don't know about that time correlation. But, but they both have had the flu. And apparently, he took Tamiflu. I don't quite know what for, but he already had taken Tamiflu once this year. So when he got the flu, they gave him Tamiflu again. He has had the flu since Saturday. He left his bedroom for the first time today. It's Wednesday. That you. had to, but that's, uh, so apparently mom was telling me one of her friends, they both got sick, got better, and then her husband got super, super sick like two days later, and they went and did the flu test, and he tested negative, and his doctor said that he has had so many patients who have come in, and he would like bet his life savings that they had the flu, and they were negative, and he said he thought it was their tests were wrong. Like their tests were bad and he said they even checked and their tests are fine and he's afraid that like specifically at least as of he knows in There's South a Carolina flu strain that's not that yeah we can't test for. Nice. Yay. I so I say get the flu shot every year and all that because it's you know I haven't we are not anti vax. My god, every time I say that I don't get the flu shot, peop I literally get like emails and dms like books long about vaccinations and why i should vaccinate Boy, I'm all about it tetanus shot at me oh, i'll get a tetanus shot every time get your tetanus out. shot i i've done all the shots every single thing up for my doctor I recommended I mean, I it care, i did yeah. it the only one i won't do is the flu shot that's literally it well, do you have the scar on your arm the polio one the old one no they were they used to drag the mm -mm. circle in. for anybody that even thinks we're like anti-vax i literally took allergy shots <laughs> for like two years like I had the allergy injections yeah that when you start off when they did the test I had like 113 needles put in my back 
in a matter of like I mean we don't have kids 20 minutes so so it's not like it matters if we're anti-vax but we've had all of our vaccinations no our little and, monsters are gonna get and we will vaccinate all of our babies and if they have half the problems when they're little that I did they'll yeah. go get allergy tested because if they have half the problems you have they'll be grateful for those shots <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just, I, I don't know why them. people feel the need to like school me on things. Like I just said that one time about the flu shot and I got all kinds of messages and I was like, chill out. Like four, it was like, I think it was four years in a row. I got the flu, I got the flu shot, I got the flu, or I got the flu shot, I got the flu, got the flu shot, got the flu. And it happened like that for four years and the last time I was like, I can't do this anymore. And I haven't, this is. That's, that's basically what happened with me. I think it's been. I think that was the last time I had the flu, actually, was the last time I got the shot. That's what happened to me. I that was, was years ago. I was in college, like maybe freshman in college. Uh, I stopped taking it. My mom it made the decision that. to stop because I think I was, that's me. I was like, well, I think I was 15. I got the flu three years in a row, and the last time I got it, I got so sick. Oh, it kills. Something or another else happened, and I had my asthma was worse then, and I ended up with pneumonia, and I got hospitalized. Oh, that's right. Sam has asthma, like really bad. No, I do not have asthma. Had. And then they they asked had. me like what, you know what had happened, and they saw that my chart showed that you had the flu shot. They showed they like went through my record and saw that I had had the flu shot and had the flu like three consecutive years, and it had gotten worse, and it mm -hmm. led to like a. Uh, bronchitis. Bronchitis led to pneumonia. Pneumonia when you have asthma means <laughs> nine times out of ten if you have like not sports induced but just outright asthma you end up in the hospital. Oh that's terrible. So, so that's our stance on vaccines. <laughs> just an FYI.